and we're back with more dust and Lizzie and Tail. This is Josh Kell. Last time we um got a bunch of quests from the village. So now we are going through the caves to get the Were we ever really told why we're going this way? Like I know why I'm going this way, but like was dust ever really told? I mean the the old guy was just like here, take this red resonance gem, and like, he's like, great, this will somehow solve everything. It's like, did he know that there's something that will allow me to slide down here or not? I don't know. Anyway, so, yeah, these things are annoying, and there are spikes everywhere, and since we're playing on hardcore, like I've said like 50 times this LP, we're definitely not going to have an easy time with this. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if I died several times in this area. Ooh, a sheep. I'll take that. Oh, I didn't get... Oh, well, yeah. I was just gonna... Okay. Oh, I didn't get all the items in the top area. Of course I didn't. I needed slide. There was that obvious sliding hole that I had to go past. What a shame to that. Oh, be careful. Don't let the bomb hit any of the spikes because that'll make the bomb blow up and we need the bomb. Which we need for this up here, right up here. Obviously, I'm not supposed to be able to get this yet, but it's not like we can do anything with it yet. It will... We will be able to use this item I just picked up in not the next area, but the area after. Maybe you remember a couple of parts ago when I was saying something about something being a big shit take on Castlevania 2. That's what that item was. <laughs> and if you've played Castlevania 2, you might know what a red... red orb gem thing has to do with something. So I've got to be really careful. These things do a lot of damage, but then again, I've got to be careful at the same time not to do that. Okay, here's a save. So it's like a, it's like a checkpoint. I mean, that's really what they are in this game. Saves are just giant checkpoints. So it's a more sliding tunnels and a, a cage. Ooh, I wonder what's in there. I actually don't know, so I do honestly wonder because I don't remember what comes out of what comes out of which cage. It's like, well, if I if the what if what came out of each cage was relevant to anything, I might remember it. But because because you know it's just some random guy and it doesn't even matter. It's like who cares? So now we're at, we're at a dead end by the looks of it. I can't go through there, so we have to go <laughs> almost run into those spikes. Thank you, air gust wind. Whatever. There's definitely a lot of that down here. Come on, Dust, you can do it. <laughs> I find this animation funny. It's like, he's obviously struggling against winds, but he's just, there is no run button. He's still just, you know, kind of semi-jogging, walking. <laughs> so he's, he's like casually breezing through. It's like, hmm, yeah, wind? No, I don't really care about that, actually. So I come up around here, and Finally, after so many areas of, oh, I can't get this yet because I can't slide. Crutch, <laughs> crutch, <laughs> crouch slide acquired. We can now slide through. Do, 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 do. Uh. <laughs> this is why you recharge your controllers, kids. Alright, there we go. I have put... Well, I didn't put new batteries in my controller. I just plugged the cord in that goes to the USB port on the console. Very handy. Something I maybe should have done beforehand. Now, wait. I missed something. Well, I can't go back up there even if I wanted to. So we have to come back this way. Come on, Dust. Stop walking at such a leisurely pace. Oh, here we go. That's... So there was something over here. Ah, chest. Six keys, we can open that. Yeah, we've got to open that um cage on the way back. Last playthrough of this I did. Ooh, pretzels! I sure hope Dust likes those. Me, I'm kind of indifferent about them. I don't really hate them. I don't like them that much either. <laughs> yeah, so in my last playthrough, I didn't have enough keys to get this chest, because I... or well, not chest, I'm cage open. The one that's in the, uh, that next area, I think it was. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I had to like come all the way back later, and it was such a pain because it's like so far out of the way. 
But then again, there's a lot of stuff we have to come back for in these caves. It's just really, really, really annoying. But hey, we can take a shortcut in this area. Come up over here. Come down here. Now we want to go backwards. And there we go. So we'll be left with one key to hopefully open up something. Although I'm not really sure what that something is. So who's this? It's, um... I think... That's the guy from Spelunky. <laughs> I don't play that game or have never... Or have played it, so don't... You know, I could be wrong, so, but... I think... Because I, I, I did actually look... Oh, shit, no! No, Dust, no! Oh, thank... Jeez, I hate these spikes so much. It's like there's no way to get off them. I can mash the buttons all I want. But he won't. And then you've got these things, which are surrounded by spikes, which are just even more annoying because you kind of can't... That'll do, okay. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I, did, I briefly looked up online who each of the characters were that come out of the cages, but... But... I don't... I still, I, that was a while back now, and I really don't remember that clearly, so... I might be wrong, and that is the message of the day. <laughs> What's this? Oh, it's the um, it's the hidden stick, of course. While I'm talking about sticks, even though this has absolutely nothing to do with sticks, <laughs> you may somewhat notice. I don't know. The audio quality is like different this episode. I like trying some stuff differently. So if it sounds really bad, I'll probably change it up next episode. Just figured I'd warn you because I really don't know at this point how it sounds. I just did some few tests before recording. I'm on my way back and because we got that red thing for that Castlevania quest, oh gee, I really hope Dust likes pretzels. I had to like nom down through them real quick. Yeah, because we got that Castlevania gem, we will not need to um, come back this way at all. <laughs> Sequence break to get that. Sequence break for success. I suppose getting an item like that isn't a really cool sequence break, but it's better than, you know, having to come back and getting it. Okay, so uh, I think, I think we can just, well, we, we should give the guy his hitting stick, you know, he needs to hit fidget with it. Come on, penis guy. <laughs> oh, my stick. You found her. Now I can get back at that good for nothing trolk that done busted up my leg! Whoa, hang on, Blop. You'd better not pick any fights in your, uh, condition. Boy, this is a matter of honor! And revenge! And hitting things with sticks! Tell you what, I'll beat up some trolks for you. Bring me their devilish little fingers! Four of them! No, 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 forty! No, four hundred! My broken leg demands justice! How about I gather four trolk fingers, just for you? Sound good? Ah, now that's my boy! Ugh, this is starting to sound like a grindy MMO. Four hundred trolk fingers? I don't think so. But then again, that'd be some pretty good grinding. So I assume we don't have that many already. Trolks, no, we do not have that many already. <laughs> we, I don't... I could look, but that'll take up our precious playing time, so let us go through here and keep going. Alright, well, I don't know why that's there. It's not like you can come here before getting the red resonance gem anyway, so why put that there? Uh, this is a troll, by the way. Yes, those things... Alright, now I'm actually really curious to know how many we got. Sorry for wasting your time. Uh, I'm wasting it even more by having no idea where to go. Okay, we've got to go in items and... No, it's not in there. Can you even, like, look at... Oh, here we go, here we go. Okay, I've got two of them. And I haven't sold them to... What's-his-face yet, so we're not restocking them there. Might have to sell those next time I see a shop. No items in this area. I like that. Or do I? I don't know if I like that or not. It's like... Sometimes it's really annoying, but sometimes, like, uh, when we get to the area, I'll, I'll tell you, um, no, I'll just, I don't, I don't, what, what I'm trying to say is, I don't want to spoil the area that I'm tr going to talk about. There's this area later that I, like, my favorite area, I'll tell you when we get there, um, 
I think they did just such a good job of hiding the treasure. Like, all the treasure you find doesn't feel like, oh, there's just a sliding hole there. Ooh, that's lame. It's like, it's really... I don't know, what's the word? It's like inventive, like all the treasures placement. It's just really cool. Definitely one of the reasons that's my favorite area. So again, I, that's two areas away from here. Not this one, not the one after, but one, the one after that. Not, not, not counting side quest areas. So yes, we're getting blown up by Gus, and if I try to grab onto him here, I kind of just let go, because there is, this is, I think this is the only place in the game where there is no bottom of the, the um, the um, the um, the um. Like, there's no hole, you know, indefinite hole in the ground. <laughs> so yes, there is no death by falling in dust, but that's kind of obvious by now. I am here to serve. That you are, so... I just need a quick stop off to sell some fingers to you. Oh, and some squid tentacles, I guess. Why not? Some shells and some fingers, so you keep stocking those up for me now, okay? Actually, while we're here... Let's purchase some keys. We have plenty of gold. Let's buy three for now. Your trend. Thank I will need those for later. So, is there a reason this bomb is here, or do I not need this for anything? So, I, I don't remember these things. It's like... <laughs> no, we did need this. Okay, ooh, just got it there. Climbing up, climbing up. One often wonders why there is invisible floating platforms. But then again, it's not like those are not common in uh, 2D side-scrollers. Stupid teeth creatures. Oh, these guys are so freaky, but I love it. You die. Right now. Get out of here. I need to resave again for no reason. That is what I need to do. Yeah, I, th I think we can get to the next save area. Yeah, we can make this episode just a bit longer, can't we? Just a bit. Just for you guys. <laughs> that was cool. I didn't even know what that was that was cool. So I just randomly said that was cool for no reason. Because it was cool to say it was cool when nothing was cool. You get it? <laughs> you, you cool? I do like I do like the sound effect that plays when um your combo finishes and you, well it didn't that time I think you needed like at least ten combo or some crap for it to sound no well, well it did well, I don't I wasn't too busy not paying attention I do that sometimes just like fidget <laughs> give me the money the money bags money 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 money. Off, I, I do wonder why monsters are carrying around bags of money, or where they're even putting them. Hey, maybe they ate them. That explains everything, actually. Ugh, so it looks like a giant elephant's taking a giant diarrhea dump. No, those are just green falling rocks. Why are they green? Why not? <laughs> so, so it looks like elephant dung, that's why. So we come down here, and there's more elephant dung. Ugh. Gross. <laughs> what a dumbass. What a... Oh, I, I want to say something real bad, but I shouldn't because that's not cool to say. Or is it? I don't know. And now I feel like an idiot for talking about something which I'm not going to say so much. I just need to learn when to shut my mouth, I guess. Okay, so we come up around here. There's that key we can get. Oh, there's a sheep here too. I'll take that. Now, I, I guess we're not supposed to be able to get this, but I don't I don't think you actually need to sequence break this to be able to pick it up. I think you can just like... Okay, no, I think you do actually. Because I, yeah, I think this right, this right here is where I figured out how to do this sequence breaking thing. Because I was trying to get up here so bad. I'm like, come on, there's got to be where to get up here. And I just like kind of found it. I'm like, yeah, bitches. I don't need to be coming back to this area. No, sir. Watch out for falling poo, there needs to be a sign. Where's the sign to tell me that there's falling poo in this area? A shop? We just had a shop. Oh well, no nothing like another shop to brighten my day. Not that I need shops anyway, but... They're cool. I, I like to know that someone's watching me for, for no reason. That guy is a real big stalker. 
but as we'll find out later, spoilers, 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 mute the sound right now if you don't want to spoil it. I'm not going to spoil anything really. As we'll find out later, he has a reason for stalking us. Dun dun dun. You'll find out soon enough. There we are. I did it. I quoted something from that thing I was going to quote before, but that was a different quote to the other one, so... I hope you know what that was from. I really hope you know what that was from. I'm not telling you. You have to know. Jeez, there must be a horde of elephants up top taking dumps on me. Yes, and if you saw right then, that was a very good instance of a bad time for doing a sword swing to make me go upwards. I went right into the elephant dung. But then again, did I really have a need to do that? It's not like... You know, <laughs> there was anything to hit there. I don't think the guy who programmed this originally thought you would use sword attacks to stabilize yourself in the air. So we can abuse those guys on the other side of the wall, believe it or not, to get ourselves all the way up here. That's like a big cheat. You pass all that elephant dung. But then, of course, I kill them, so if we were to fall, we wouldn't be able to get back. But then again, I, I just kind of did fall. We can already get back up. And even if I did not get back up. We could just, um, sequence break up. Yeah, you're not supposed to be able to get back up here, but nothing's stopping me. Oh, great. More of these things. I hate the- oh, not, not, not these end monsters. What I hate is the, um, stupid exploding things. I hate them so much. I don't think I need to tap- shit. Dust. Jump. Jump. Uh, <laughs> cry, cry. Alright, I guess I'll call that the episode. Um, Thank you very much for watching. This has been Josh Cal. I'll see you later. No question of the episode again. I'm running out of questions. Let's just say that. <laughs>